That's you. That's yeah. you? This is me. Chris Evans is dope. <laughs> dude, that, that's that, real. Dude, what? running over a car? We rehearsed it for a month. If you miss that, oh, you hit the ground at 40 miles an hour. And I have to look cool while trying not to hit the brick. All right, Gee, break it down for us. All right, Let's get so. What's up guys, this is Stuntmen React. We are honored to be joined by Guy Da Silva today. He's a Transformer. He is Black Panther. He is Leonardo in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now you're on this small, janky couch with us. I don't, this is a very comfortable couch. I'm glad. And I got good company, so. Aw. So Guy is going to give us some insight into some of your favorite Hollywood fight scenes today. I'm so excited. Let's jump in. Yes. Target is a mobile satellite launch platform. The oh yeah, this is opening. Look, you guys see me almost half asleep. On the right? Right about now. Oh. <laughs> Man, we were in there, it's dark. They're just talking. I'm not doing shit. I'm supposed to look intent. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this was really cool because we actually got to be on the real ship. I think it's a German or a Russian ship. Dude, Captain America straight up murders this person. Yo, just straight up. Dead. Hold that! <laughs> Spine <laughs> severed. Oh, here are the big guys. Beefy boys. Matt Leonard and Big Bubba. Tight black t-shirt gang. <laughs> yep. Captain America knows something's up. Does anyone want to get out? Now let's all act like we're really busy. Get busy, fall into each <laughs> other. There I am, ha ha. Nice little yeah. bounce off the glass. Nice. I just want you to know, Cap. I said, PERSONAL! It was fun seeing these two fight. Chris Evans is dope, cause he'll come in and he has a dance background. Hmm. He used to tap dance. So he understands rhythm and beats and fight choreography is actually closer to dancing than it is to actual fighting martial arts. He can just show up and be like, okay, show me like six moves. And he'll be like, okay, uh, 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 all right, let's shoot it. And he comes in and does the job. Uh, hold that. Uh, eat that, Clay Cullen. So is that a wire? Yeah, it was a wire pull. It was fun. That, oh, that's a cool shot. And there's me sleeping on Bubba's leg. <laughs> <laughs> in the bottom corner, knocked out. How many days did this take? This was two weeks. Uh, one wow. week of prep and then one week of actual shooting. And Tom Harper is the stunt coordinator on this and he looks out for everybody. So we get cool things like, we get a thing called adjustments. It's like giving a tip. It's like getting gratuity. So this is it based on like how hard of a hit you take? How hard of a hit you take, how hard the stunt was, how nice the coordinator is. So what kind of adjustment did you get for falling asleep on the guy's leg? Oh, I got a good 500 bucks, I think. That <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was awesome. Hey, you just down there? Yeah, I'm always down here. Do you not know that? No. You know what else you don't know? Today's sponsor? That's right, today's sponsor, privacy.com, is cooler than a Hollywood stunt. I'm gonna tell you guys all about them at the end of this video and how you can get five bucks free. Five bucks! It's gonna be way cooler than this scene. I'll tell you that much. So that's you. That's yeah, you? This is me. Wow, this was scary. This isn't CG either, that reds for you in the- That was me doing it. Were you on wires? Yes, I was. Wow. And I was terrified. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's about an eight foot gap to like, to get to the wall. I have to jump straight out and I have to use my right hand to stop myself from swinging around, which no happened a couple times. Yeah. Once that happens, I'm actually free falling for about 30 of that. Then the descender pulls in. A descender is a contraption that they use in rigging that will decelerate your speed as you fall down. Descender's starting to pull in there and I have to look cool while I go down <laughs> while trying not to <laughs> brick. It'll, it'll slow me down just enough and then it'll let me land freely. So his landing, it still has that weight. It doesn't yeah. look like the, the Hong Kong crouching tiger hand dragon. I land on my tippy toes and I can do ballet afterwards. Yeah. There's weight to it, so they still drop me. Uh, how many takes did you do for that? On the day, seven, wow. but we rehearsed it about a month. And these rehearsals, are you doing, are you starting like in a gym with the rehearsals? No, we start here. Oh really, so you just have a month booked at that spot? Yep. Oh, you're, you're gonna have to tell us how you do the fast run. Yeah, definitely. It's called the magic carpet. 
And so they have a like enchanted carpet, right? Yes. And it flies. Yes. That you get in a secret chamber. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called the magic carpet. It's like a, a really long treadmill. It gets latched onto the back of a car, hmm. and the car will pull it at speed, and then you sprint on that. The only thing going on as far as VFX goes is them taking out yes. that carpet underneath you guys. But that's all practical. You're actually it's running It's all practical. We're all running. Um, we build up speed. It's so crazy. We just built and built and built. We got ourselves comfortable just running straight first. Then we did changing lanes. Now we're going to do it at 15 miles an hour. Now we're going to work our way to 20 miles an hour. Now we're at 40. What? Yes. This that is really was cool. Scary. That was that was for real. That was for real. Yeah. So I had to I had to literally go jump off the back of a car and then jump to the next lane as the the Audi is going past me with no track underneath the Audi. No track underneath the Audi. So that's just straight. But if you miss that, oh, you pad. hit the ground at forty miles an hour. No. Luckily, there was a pad. Thank God, there was a pad <laughs> behind me. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have said no. I'm not doing this because <laughs> my mom would freak out. Uh, it sounds very dangerous. Like very it's dangerous, really respectable. But it's calculated because it's their job to make sure you don't get hurt. Right? Yes, absolutely. Is it true that the stunt man will do anything, but it's the stunt coordinator's job to say yes or no? You should say no if you feel uncomfortable. If it's something you've never really done before, express that this is something you've never really done before. Yeah. And as a coordinator, you should respect that and find a way to get what you want without endangering the stunt person. Like how they built me up to the, ma I've never been on a magic carpet before. You don't just start at 100 miles an hour, you yeah, work yeah, your yeah. way to 100 miles an hour. Once you get into it, once you get comfortable and you're like in the costume and you're doing it, you're like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> this is all insane. Like, this looks like a CG fest, but like dude, that, that's that, real. Dude, what? running over a car. We rehearsed it for a month. I didn't think that they were gonna have me smash through the pillar with, with me on the back. Mm -hmm. And they were like, no, no, you're gonna be on the back of that. I was like, oh, cool. Wow! <laughs> I can see you in it now. I can like, <laughs> I can see Guy De Silva just holding on really tightly for dear life. Don't let go. <laughs> Did they install some like grips on there on the back? Like they like, have like a they, so stuff? they cut they cut a little bit off of the fender. Yeah. And put a bar there for me nice. to hold on to. Yeah. I feel like the number one muscle that you work out is your grip strength. I got the strongest grip, man. <laughs> I know for holding on for dear life, <laughs> especially on this film. Wow. Whoa. They did that. Really? I remember watching them rehearse this. That's I was like, awesome. this is crazy. I got to try it. That's a real motorcycle? Yeah. What, what is this magic? So it's this is wired, of course. They started back like maybe 10 feet. Let's say 10 oh, feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're pulling that guy off the yeah. wire. Pull, uh, hand pulling him. And they got another group of guys pulling the bike up. By oh, the really? Tail. So it's not just swinging up. It's No. Is that something and, actually wrangling the front then? Yes. He's trying to hold it down as much as he possibly can. Look, he's barely holding on. He's barely holding on to it. He's like, ah! Oh, and of course, that, that leg over. stretch, man. Yeah. Oh, you know? <laughs> How often do you rip your pants on set? Oh, man, I'm notorious. That's, that's probably one of the first things I do in our wardrobe fitting. So I'll do the craziest, most abrupt squat motion. Sometimes I look like a fool. Other times I'm like, bow! Yep. <laughs> we need some pants. This was fun. So what they had was us on the car pulling the motorcycle from the front and they had it on a swivel that will make it look like it got slapped out. Pyrotech would make the explosion happen and I jump through the explosion. I gotta make a nice pretty picture. That's me reaching full out and swiping across the back of the wheel. This is so sick. Boom, Adrian, you are such a badass. Dude, he's still he steps out for it. real? Yeah, so Dude. they're pulling it with wires. And the door opens and he runs out. I was flipping my, I was going crazy on the side. So the car flipping, is that in the same shot with him jumping out the door? Or no. is that a different Different shot. Okay. Different setup. But he's still running with the car flipping in front of him, which is so cool. But luckily he's in a safer distance. What a crazy Boom. scene. I've yeah. never seen this movie. This is the first time I've ever seen this scene. What? Yeah. What, what is this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther. Oh yeah. You can catch all these hands. <laughs> this scene got a lot of critiques from everybody. We can all agree that this scene isn't very well done. But I do feel like you can bring something to the table that 
most people haven't talked about, because everybody always talks about the CG. And like, I was actually surprised to find out that they actually had people doing motion capture for this, because like, they're so fluid. Right? I kind of wish they hadn't, and kept it a little bit more grounded and real, because you kind of lose the weight of the fight. And that's what I felt was like the big miss with it. Yeah, so there's no stakes for in this fight. Like, you're not getting pain in this fight. No. The suits are getting dematerialized, getting interrupted. So now we're starting hmm. to see bits of them. And it's like, okay. But you don't really ever see a fight in this aspect. So there's no bruising. Hmm. There's, no, there's no danger until the last second, which is very abrupt. Like, boom. He should be, like, mantled, dismantled yeah. from that. You just got blasted and your vibranium suit doesn't work anymore, right? So then they're vulnerable. Yes, and you have that moment of danger. Oh, here we go, here and we go. And now we have the stab. Look at that emotion. Ugh, so good. This knife has made me rethink my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> when you're fighting in costume, do you have to have like a special costume made just for you to fight in so that you don't like break it? Yes. Well, it breaks regardless. <laughs> How often does it that happen? Break. Little things like will fall off, like little detailed stuff, so they have to glue it. They'll have a team of guys that are there to like do that kind of stuff for us. When I was Panther on Civil War, we only had one helmet for me, so we were very careful on that helmet. I actually got punched in the face by Sebastian Stan one day. I heard him say, oh yeah, he punched him. And he walks up, he's like, yo, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm like, dude, it's perfectly fine. The mask was there, it broke all the impact. <laughs> Were you just trying to make him feel good? Yeah, partially. <laughs> Part of my job is to make sure the actor feels comfortable, right? Because you want him to perform as best as he can. And I want him to have that same energy that he had when he actually did hit me by accident. Yeah. That's a really professional attitude. I try. I try, man. <laughs> it's hot. These guys are cool because they're, they're in a cool, nice studio. All my fights were like in 98 degree heat in Atlanta wearing all black. I threw up a couple times. Oh, man. Oh, for real? It was rough. The suit was collecting sweat. So it, really? it, so it gained weight. Oh. I was like, oh, this is a 25 pound suit now. We were shooting the airport fight and one day they came up to me like, oh, you're gonna do a 50 foot ratchet today. I was like, oh, cool. I've never done one of those. Miss Wiggly Woo, we call her um, Scarlet Witch Scarlet. <laughs> with her Wiggly Woo. <laughs> she stops me and flings me into the air and I fly into the, the walkway into the plane. There wasn't a walkway, that mm -hmm. was CG. The first times we were rehearsing it, we rehearsed it without the suit and I was landing like, skillfully, surprisingly on my feet. I was like, <laughs> like all right, cool. We put on my, my suit, which is now soaked in my sweat. And they're like, all right, ready, and... <laughs> I go, woof. They, they dropped me a little bit farther than they were originally had, and I landed on concrete on my right shoulder. Oh. You see me struggle to get up to a knee and be in a cool stance. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, this sucks. <laughs> you okay, G? Yeah, I'm okay. Hi, I did a sick stunt over this couch just a little bit ago, and Gee and Nico and Clint saw it. They were so impressed, they all went out to train. While they're at it, I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor, privacy.com, that's right. You see, privacy.com is the best way to protect all your transactions online. They use encryption data to create virtual numbers for your actual credit card numbers, which means that your credit card information will never be stolen ever again. Look me in the eyes, and if you've never had your credit card information stolen, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read some lies today, guys. Well, the second thing you need to know, you can set spending limits and expiration dates on your cards. It's real simple, you do it all online. They never charge you interest, they never charge you fees, and they never sell your data. So you're good to go. All you gotta do is go over to privacy.com slash corridor crew, and you'll get five bucks just for signing up. Oh crap, here they come. Stuntman, stuntman. This was fun. This was yeah. super fun. Thanks man. If you guys ever wanna sit on a couch together like this again and watch some stuff and I'm down. Cool. <laughs> you can come over, I got a couch just like this. <laughs> and if you guys would like to follow Guy, ask some questions, anything like that, yeah. you can follow him on Instagram, it's Guy X Da Silva. Yes, Guy X Da Silva. And of course, if you enjoyed the show, you know, please consider subscribing, and please leave a comment for any other cool fight scenes. I love finding some really obscure stuff. Please let us know in the comments below. It's a great way to know what's out there. Dude, thanks for watching, everybody. Yo, yeah. thank you so much yeah. for having me, guys. Yeah, thanks, Guy. You thank you. Know. When I first started out here, I worked on one of your videos. It was the Rayman. Um, oh man! Eric Linden actually pulled me on, yeah. and like maybe had like maybe one film under my belt, and here I am like 
seven years later. It's pretty That's crazy. Awesome. Well, awesome. welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. Hell yeah.